Hello and welcome back to another episode of Graveyard Keeper. In this episode, we've got a surprise for you. The surprise I've been holding out for so long, and it's just past this gate. Now this will actually be recorded in two sections. This intro, where I'm actually discovering it the first time. Well, in this playthrough. And later on after I record the character stories, because I'm actually in the middle of one of the other recordings I was doing. And this is where I'm getting those gold stories from. Is through the main storyline. So, let's get through this gate and discover what's behind it. Yes, what we discover is death. So here comes that big secret. It's been alluded to a few times in the story. That's right, the big secret I was holding out for that's been alluded to so many times in the game with the never running out of energy, you know, not having to breathe, could only mean one thing, and that's zombies. So in this episode, we're going to be crafting our very own army of zombies to do menial tasks for us. And at a slow rate. We can't build an army right off the bat because you got to do it with each body. But enough of that. Let's get on with the episode. Alright, so I've done a 
fair bit of embalming to get these bodies so uh, they're good. I want some decent zombies to begin with. These aren't the best zombies. The best I'm pretty sure is 16. But some of these are 12, some of them are... Well, it's between 9 and 12. So, this is going to be a decent start, at the very least, to the zombies. But, why don't I show you around? Let's enter my office. As you can see, I've repaired the chute, both inside and out. So that when a body's dropped off, it just comes straight here. Pick it up, I put it into the glue injection. Then once that's finished, I put it in for the lie injection. Then once that's finished, it goes into the silver. These are actually all done. So, yeah, they're just on the tables to show you the bodies. Could have put them into the fridge pallet too, but eh. Yeah. So we've got glue, then we've got lye, then we've got the silver, then we've got the gold. Now, the thing with silver and gold is you see how all the gold here, it's minus two red, and then it also adds two white. And the silver, it's minus one plus one. I'll show you that. For you to actually be able to put these injections in, they have to have the negatives there. So you always just chuck them through the injections first, and then put them onto the table and do all that. And these two tables, they're currently just preservatives. Yeah. So as you can see, I've got plenty of zombie juice, got plenty of faith, got five bodies, need 50 faith. Yeah, kind of hurts. But it's well worth it. Now, well, let's make a monster. Okay, so we've got our first zombie here. Well, not the first. Dug out the first one, which I have not shown in this episode. I do know that. And that is because it will be in the snake episode. So... If you're not sure where it is, or you want to find out everything before you start playing, then check out that episode. It'll be coming out in a couple of days, hopefully, within a week. And um, I'm recording the entire story and then editing them down, so... It's going to take a little bit for me. I've spent three days already recording, and I'm about halfway through. I'm not the quickest in this game, I'm, I'm no speedrunner, that's for sure. And I actually had a nice glitch where I got two zombies out of that. <laughs> but yeah, so let's see the quality. 30% quality for this first body, which he was the best, I'm pretty sure. So let's go grab some others and see how they come out. So, uh, that guy was 30%, and this guy's 25 so not the best. Definitely not the worst you can have. Got another 30 percent -er. Another 30%. Hmm. They were all pretty good. And this guy had 22%, so he was actually the worst. Let's get some of these guys to work. What do I need done? As you can see, I'm making a bunch of conical flasks for the injections. Yeah, let's just grab them all. So, hmm. You can chuck them in anything and then just set it to build anything. I might get these guys up to the quarry. So I'll get them all to work. And I'll show you where I put them. Alright, so that's all of them in place. So as you can see, I've got one in either slot here. So these ones, I'm pretty sure both of these were 30%. I've got this guy here, which is the 22% off. This guy here is 25. And this guy here is a 30 as well. 
And these two I've got breaking the marble and the stone down. They're the two I got from digging it out. And as you can see, it's a 10% and a 5%. They're pretty bad. But that's why I've got them here, because the lower their work efficiency, the worse they are. <laughs> the slower they are at doing stuff. But with these, this ta these tasks down here take a lot less time than digging something off here. I'm just going to move away from that because that's going to annoy the crap out of everyone. So, the other thing that I'm going to need to do, since we're getting marble now, is stock up here with a bunch of wood wedges. Because, as you can see, to get the marble broken down, you need two wood wedges. And that's what I've tasked that 10% of guy to do. I don't have a porter in yet either. And there's other, there's two more porter stations I could build. So one here and one here. Which I'll do later on. But for now, we're one, two, three, four zombies short of completely filling out the quarry. So as you can see, you need a lot of zombies just to gather stuff for you. Because that's just the stone and the marble. And you get coal through it as well. So that's all the mining stuff. Which could just get them to bring the big blocks down. But you might as well fill the chests up there. And then have them bring it down as well. That way you don't have to craft it yourself. And your zombies aren't in the way in your uh, front garden. But yeah. Also got the big tree sawmill, so I might craft this up. I might build this between episodes. And I'll try to fill out the zombies. Get as many zombies out as I can. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please remember to like and subscribe to let me know that you are. And so you don't miss out on any future content. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next episode.